it just seemed like uh, younger farmers with borrowing all the money to try and take a conventional farm to a grazing farm kind of put them at a disadvantage right away. And we thought if, if someone with equity could set the farm up and then transfer that farm to a young person, the odds of success would be very good. And we just felt that it was giving the young person the best opportunity to be successful. And so we shot the, the plan that we had to our banker and he called me up after he read our plan and he said, uh, I just got one question for you. And uh, he said, why wouldn't you, you know, you get a parlor, why don't you just go to 250 cows on the dairy that you're on? And he said, okay, I said, I'll, I'll give you 10 reasons why I don't wanna. And the number one reason I had was because when it comes time to get out, uh, what's my return on my investment going to be? If I have a 250 cow dairy, how many people are going to want this? Is the marketability going to be what I want? We finally convinced our banker that it wouldn't be a good idea. And the other thing is, is we took, we probably ran that second farm a little different than most conventional farmers would, is because uh, we shut that dairy down. We kept one of them running, so we maximized profitability by moving animals. We moved a lot of animals between some. In one day, we moved we moved 200 head of cattle in one day. We like to leave a small footprint behind, so we put in uh, manure management. We went with uh, uh, conservation, land conservation, and uh, put in manure facilities and, and uh, design scrape and, and off our lots, uh, areas that we run off filtration and things like that, uh, contain milk house waste. Uh, tried not to, you know, pollute as, as little as possible. And uh, I think we were quite successful because we had uh, people who were downstream from the farm that we bought said, uh, boy, the water sure is a lot cleaner coming through there now than what it was five, six years ago. So And I, you know, had no doubt in my mind he could do really good. Um, he did a good job of managing, the res take, taking the responsibility that we gave him in managing the dairy that we had. And so I, I really, you know, it, was, it wasn't a hard decision at all. He was ready and, uh, you know, his family was growing and he's a hard worker, determined, uh, loved farming. I mean, that's what he wanted to do. How could you not give somebody that chance? That, that's uh, so he's out there doing it. <laughs>